Hi, my name is Kelly Vaughn. I am Document Geek, and I wanted to share with you one of my very favorite InDesign plugins. Uh, it's called PDF Stickies, and what it does is it lets you convert InDesign notes into PDF sticky notes when you export your PDF, and it works seamlessly. It's a marvelous little plugin. It's um, kind of one of the, the core pieces of my workflow and I just kind of wanted to explain how it works. Um, I've got a PDF draft here of a manual that I did and um, this is the one that I sent to the client and you'll notice over on the right hand side in the comments pane it is just full of questions for um, for my client information that I need to get from him. And the thing with with technical manuals and, and technical documentation that's inherently different than um, other kinds of publishing or other kinds of graphic design is that by the very nature of technical documentation, you don't have the, the designer or the writer, in this case, I'm both. I don't have all the information I need up front. I have to get that content from the client. And so I have to ask them a lot of questions. I have to go to their site and take pictures. I have to look at their drawings and email them and get all kinds of information that I that I need. But it's, um, it's always something I kind of have to do proactively. And so that is what I use my PDF sticky notes for is to um, be able to ask all my questions but keep them in context um, right in the manual and so that they can easily look at the pictures and read the text and say oh okay I know what she needs it's obviously right here uh, just streamlines the whole process to have all of my questions as PDF sticky notes in the manual and so what I do um, this is a one of that same document here in InDesign and uh, you'll notice I have over here a, a PDF uh, it's not a PDF sticky, sticky note right now it's just an InDesign note and um, let's take a look at it it says uh, note to Kelly if this photo changes also change the photo in the freshwater chapter so this this photo here this um, um, photo with the callouts, it's located in two different places and so uh, in the manual in two different chapters and so sometimes the questions are notes for myself sometimes there are questions for the um, the engineers that I work with but regardless I am um, I I make notes to various people in these manuals um, so let's let's take a look at this one let's say I need to ask a question about this photo it's got all this plastic wrap in it and so I'm just gonna say uh, hey do you um, have a um, can you get me a, f a version of this photo uh, without the plastic wrap? <clears throat> so I have to I have to do that a lot. The um, the photos I get sometimes they've got shop vacs, sometimes they've got water bottles, sometimes they've got um, paper cups and screws and bolts and zip ties and sawdust and there's all kinds of stuff in the photos and so I'm always asking them for better versions of the photos so here is a question I'm going to ask my um, my engineer can you get me a photo of this without the plastic wrap and so now what I need to do is convert this to a note and you can do that two ways you can um, do it right in the contextual menu but that option is also in the flyout menu um, in the notes panel um, and so it's a it's an InDesign note now. So um, my first, um, let's say I want to I want to export this as a PDF. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick it on the desktop as an example. This is page 11-7 um, desktop 11-7 because um, I'm just doing this as an example. Export. You'll notice that I did export as print PDF, and now. Let's go to my Acrobat and open up that document. 11.7. Let's take a look at that comment. Wah wah, it's not there. Uh, the reason for that is because there is, um, it's, this plugin is a little, a little glitchy in that if you export a PDF, a print PDF using the export menu, the comments don't come through. But the thing is, this the same functionality is in InCopy, where you can you can export a PDF with a note, and it'll appear as a PDF sticky note, but only if you do interactive PDF. Um, so if I let's try it again. So I'm gonna I'm gonna export this, but this time I'm gonna choose an interactive uh, PDF, and I'm gonna do um, interactive. I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna open it up. Uh, let's see. 
uh, in, in forms and media include all. So I'm going to export. Oh, it's doing the whole thing, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to go to my comments pane. Boom. There's all the notes from that document right here as PDF sticky notes, which is awesome. Um, so, but let's say I want to, I want to, I need to export this with the sticky notes as a print PDF because if I, if I view separations on this, this is all going to show up as RGB black and I don't want that. Um, so, but let me show you that real quick. So you can see why it's important to export as um, a print PDF. I'm going to go to output preview. And so now if you, I hover over this text and you'll see that it's all rich black. 70, 63, 63, 84, which, you know, that's not going to print nice. It's going to print fuzzy, which I don't want. Um, but let's, let's do it one other way. So this is the fuel system chapter. I'm just going to export the fuel system chapter. Oh, my uh, menu is off the side. Let me try this again. Export. Select a document to PDF. I'm going to do a print PDF this time and I'm going to call it fuel. High quality print, that's fine. I want um, interactive elements, include appearance. Export. Now it's going to export this again. I'm going to open, open that up. So here I have a print PDF it's got sticky notes in there that were from InDesign. InDesign notes converted to PDF sticky notes and they're they're right in my PDF, which is awesome. The only thing that um, that I wish I wish was a little bit different about this, and it's not a big deal, is that it says the author, the sticky note here, that's the author name. And um, what happens is that if you if you're in InDesign and you go to file um, Oh, preferences. Here it is. Preferences, PDF stickies. Um, the, the, the name of the plugin is PDF stickies. And uh, for some reason, um, when you export it, it comes up as sticky note. Um, that's just part of the, the plugin. There's no way to change that in here in your preferences. You can if you wanted to, you know, prepend your sticky note with some other type of comment. Um, you know, other information for whatever reason you can, if, if you find a use for that. Um, well, that, that would be cool if, if you had a use for it. I don't personally, but you know, if you want some other, other information to show up before a sticky note, you can include it there. This is cool. You can also print track changes as stickies. Um, so if, if you have people that have to, have to, have to have a printed workflow, coworkers or boss usually is what it is, have to have a printed workflow and they want to be able to see all the track changes um, as sticky notes, you can, you can include that in there as well, which is great. But back to the author name. So this is this is a problem. I don't want to send this to my clients that says sticky note because um, you know they don't know what that means. I want it to say Kelly because you know that's um, that's me. I want them to know who wrote those questions. And so uh, I found this. It's like a little one-line script um, on the Acrobat forum somewhere, and it's just is going to change sticky note author name to my name, and it's a really easy little script um, to run to to edit, um, and it just it just fixes it so that it says my name um, and you can fix it so that it says your name so anyway that's PDF stickies it's a it's a great little plugin it's um, it's super easy to use there's you don't even really have to think about it or, or do anything to change your workflow you just put the plugin in your InDesign's plugins folder uh, restart InDesign and it, um, it works if however if your InDesign crashes a lot um, you or if you reset your preferences you may need to go in here and um, actually you will need to go in here and and turn this back on so if you reset your preferences it will be turned off so if you delete your InDesign preferences you have to come back first thing and turn that checkbox on in order to get this plugin to work but um, I hope that you like um, I hope that you like the idea of using your InDesign notes 
as um, kind of a conversation starter between you and your client and um, hopefully it'll save you some some time and frustration and email and help get you the information that you need a bit quicker and again this is um, this is PDF stickies it's by current of publishing systems based out of the UK and they have a, a whole bunch of other stuff that's really cool um, as well so be sure to when you're looking for looking at PDF stickies on their website be sure to you know poke around and, and see what other um, plugins that they have there. They have a, a bunch that are um, free little scripts and um, then a bunch of more powerful plugins as well. So um, that's it. Again, this is Kelly Vaughn, Document Geek. Thanks.